Assalamu alaikum Welcome to the very first video of the channel Today we are going to talk about the FlexNet license error message that uh, appear when we run new uh, my software In this video we are going to uh, recreate the FlexNet license error message and find out the reason behind it and the method of uh, solving the problem now let's open Autodex Maya wait for it yep this is the error message uh, FlexNet license finder it's saying that your application was not able to obtain a license because the FlexNet license server manager could not determine where to find the license uh, licensing data it needs please choose one of the following uh, there are two options first one is uh, specify the license uh, license server system and the second one is specify the license file If you uh, select the first option, uh, they will ask for a uh, computer name which uh, was uh, registered with the uh, license server. If you have, uh, if you already have the license file, then choose the second option, and you have to uh, uh, locate the license file on your local computer sometime this method uh, may not work uh, as expected uh, when Autodex uh, updated their software yeah I was really disappointed so uh, I just cancelled the uh, error message but yep as you can see <laughs> it will once again it will appear and there is no other way to uh, continue to uh, um, my software if you cancel this uh, uh, error message it will uh, once again come back so let's uh, find out the reason why this is happening this type of uh, messages error messages will appear when your currently enabled network driver is different than the driver you used to uh, do the license so as you can see currently I have enabled the my portable uh, mo uh, uh, network uh, adapter but when I did this uh, license, uh, I used my broadband uh, connection adapter, which is kindly disabled, as you can see. So this is the main uh, reason uh, we are getting the error message. Okay, let's uh, go forward. So if I apply my solution in this. Uh, in this uh, scenario then it it will not work let me go to your uh, installation location uh, for me it's uh, C drive here you will find the I am tools application now run this as an administrator it will ask uh, uh, for permission uh, go to directly go to start stop or re uh, reread let's uh, try to reread the license file first wait for a moment reread server uh, license file complete 
now let's just cancel the cancel this message as you can see once again this uh, message uh, pop up the, uh, this method is not working right now why because we are on uh, on a different uh, network adapter right now so I'm disabling this adapter and enabling the network and uh, uh, network adapter which uh, I have used uh, while I uh, did this license so uh, as it uh, say unplugged but still it should work now let's try rereading the license file now wait for a moment uh, read it uh, server license file complete now let's check this out just cancel network license not available okay we already have this adapter then why not available and now stop the server first stop in server good now start it server start successful now let's read it the license file let me check my broadband adapter <laughs> whether it is connected or not yeah it is connected now let's try it again yep license verified Alhamdulillah, it's uh, working right now. So, yeah, that's it. Uh, it uh, uh, this is the main reason. The adapter. Yeah, the adapter was the main reason here. So, you have to enable the same adapter you, you have used while you uh, did the license. That's the, that's the main condition. Now as you can see it's working fine. Please uh, bear with me uh, my English is still improving. <laughs> so uh, yeah uh, let me know whether this solution uh, works for you or not. Uh, let me know your opinion. I will try to get back with the answer inshallah. Thank you.